okay, I can't believe I'm giving away this knowledge or strategy for free. So essentially, like you guys know that we just started a new company. It's an AI tool, an AI virtual assistant that essentially helps sales teams and businesses book more appointments with qualified leads 24 seven. Anyways, when you just started a company or you have a new offer, right to offer, what do you do? Like, so I always call this, this is the hustle phase. Meaning I'm doing the leg work when it comes to, I call it like social media guerrilla marketing. And so I'm essentially like focusing a lot on building relationships, focusing on networking and, but also in a proactive way, right? I'm doing it. I like to think um, with finesse, I'm not being too overly aggressive about it, but I'm being proactive about it. I'm being bold about it. I think that's important to know. So I'll give you an example. For instance, especially I'm going to go on Facebook right now. And I love Facebook groups. Facebook groups are amazing. So I essentially join mother load of Facebook groups that are revolving around the niche that I want to offer my services to. And where probably my ideal customers are gonna hang out at. So then for instance, I'm gonna go ahead, I add a bunch of value in that group, I communicate in that group, I engage in that group, I comment on a group, I pretty much become a favorite or one of the favorites to the group admins because as a Facebook group admin and community leader myself, I know that I cannot let the Facebook group go dead. You really want to be active as much as you can in order to help the algorithm. And then you pretty much drive up the group, right? And it helps out everyone in the community if everyone is obviously um, active and helping each other. So I do that for about two weeks to six weeks, depending, right? I don't have an exact time frame, but you get a feeling once you kind of like became part of the community and um, once, you know, people keep commenting on your comments and stuff like that. Now, for instance, go ahead and I now connect with the group admin. I boldly reach out to them. And so for instance, I'm writing him this kind of message. Okay, and I'm trying not to show you his name because this, I want to keep it private, but essentially I'm saying, hi, John, I'm a member of your X, Y, and C group. And instead of stupidly spamming your group lol, I wanted to respectfully reach out and was wondering if you're ever doing any promo days where a lady can advertise about her new Dare Say Kick as AI tool that I've created together with my partner. Anyway, let me know if no promotions are allowed ever. Totally cool too. Just thought I'd ask because I've been enjoying your group immensely. Thanks and greetings from Switzerland, Cornelia. It's also important to note that I don't, it doesn't have to make, uh, be 100% perfect. It's not like a super, it has to be casual. Um, there can be some grammar errors sometimes as well. It doesn't have to be complete, perfect, formal business email, right? It should be casual. And the next thing to note is that, you know, eight out of 10 times, I probably don't get a reply, but the one or two times that I do get a reply, then this partnership and potential also promotion is gonna like, really helped me catapult forward sort of my lead generation, right? For this new service offer. And of course, I do want to say that obviously I have run a, you know, I've been having running a funnel marketing agency for the past eight years. So of course we're running ads, of course we're doing this as well. But I think, especially when you're starting out with like a new project, a new company, I'm always a fan of doing it in a lean way. So I don't want to like pump a bunch of ad money into it to generate clients already. If I can do it this way as well and for conversation as well, with a prospect is where you're learning to further refine your offer. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Follow for more if it was. <laughs>